All marketing departments, corporations, advertising studios, printers, publishers have them. PDF files. But not just any PDF, but a PDF that you need, and that's all you have left is that PDF. Nothing else. No native, no source files, no InDesign or Quirk, Quirk file, no Illustrator or Photoshop file, no images, only that file. Yep, perhaps you have the fonts, but you don't have the artwork, the layout, the creative side of the, of the content. Well, that's why with great pleasure I'm going to introduce you to a new product Marksware is working on, and perhaps by the time you see it, it might even be released. And that is called PDF to DTP for Quirk Express and PDF to DTP for InDesign. Today I'm going to show you the InDesign side. Let's go check it out. Action. All right, so here we are with an InDesign, and I need to first get rid of this... Uh, uh, registration form for Q to ID, one of our other products who convert Quark to InDesign. We have, as marks for many conversion products, so this is nothing new to us. But PDF has been described as chaotic, so this is really quite incredible what we're able to do here. Through the marks for menu item up top, you'll find PDF to DTP, and you select simply convert PDF. I should note, and it's good to take a peek here right now, there is an advanced set of preferences because there are many things you can um, adjust to make the conversion or the recovery that much better of your PDF file. And you can see here some of the preferences including you know, saving ICC profiles, Duotone EPS, getting all the stylizations, tables, blends, uh, pretty much you name it, we're going to try to grab it if possible out of that PDF. PDF to DTP will even extract the images out. So if you don't have those anymore, we'll even recover those for you. So we go up here, PDF to DTP, we hit Convert Document, and we select a PDF job. Let's choose a file which, uh, you know, is kind of fitting here, the PDF to DTP brochure we created in InDesign. Now, can you imagine that all we have left is this PDF here now? That's it. What do we do? Do we recreate the file? Yeah, you can. And particularly when you're talking about a multi-page file, that can add up in hours quite quickly. So we just click in PDF to DTP open, and it's pretty much that easy. PDF to DTP converts, will convert everything, layers, text, formatting, colors, even like you saw, I see profiles, etc., even extracting the images. And you see here, now we have the file, and if we zoom in, you'll see that PDF to DTP has done a really fantastic job of converting this PDF file and recovering it back into the DTP environment, in this case InDesign, that I'm familiar with. Fantastic. All right, what I'm going to show you now, actually first, this is kind of neat. This is a new, in CS6, the new uh, panels, as they're called, created with the configurator from Adobe. A neat new way to educate people about how to do certain tasks right within InDesign in this case, or Photoshop and other tools. Very, very uh, interesting, neat little uh, you know panel under the window extensions, and there you get the uh, the panel or the extension as it, I guess it's actually called. All right, so now I'm going to show you how we extract images. So I'm going to go to convert PDF file, and in the preferences section you can see a designated folder where you can save your images. Okay, so it's not only going to save the file, but also all the images will be extracted. Convert PDF file, and let's choose the book. And there we get uh, the PDF uh, now as a Adobe InDesign file for us to uh, work with and edit and change things but what is also neat I will show you now is that in uh, the documents folder and the PDF to DTP folder you'll see the PDF to InDesign folder and inside of there it creates a job folder so you see this job folder here is clearly showing the PDF to DTP brochure we just converted and inside of there we get the InDesign file itself, but also all the images that were used inside of that InDesign file. 
Now this is really handy. I mean, I might not have this image anymore, but now I have it extracted out and back for me to use. So I don't have to go through and take screenshots and all kind of you know crazy things to get the same look the customer wants. I have the images now back on my computer ready to use with PDF to DTP from Marksware. In the PDF to DTP preferences, you'll also notice tables. Let's take a closer look at what PDF to DTP can mean for converting tables, often very tricky, from PDFs back into the native source application. Here we choose a PDF from 2002, a survey, 44 pages. Look at PDF to DTP slice through this butter like a hot knife, converting this PDF right back into a source application for us to design and lay out in further. Now what you'll see right away in this uh, nice document from uh, you know GATF back in the day about chargeable versus non-chargeable downtime, pre-flooding side of things. And now we see the tables. What you see is some convert pretty good, others convert not great, but better than nothing. Tables are handled in PDF to DTP. There might need to be some touching up in some cases. In other cases, it might not work very well at all. However, in general, it's doing a, till now, a great job converting tables using your PDF files right back into your source, in this case, Adobe InDesign CS6 layout application. PDF here. Let's see how it handles the character styles and the paragraph styles. And what you see is that all character styles are applied again. And all paragraph styles are also applied. So no reason to redo your work when you can easily convert your PDFs right back into a source application. Getting your images, getting your styles, getting your tables. Really fantastic with PDF to DTP from Marksware. If you need more information on Marksware's PDF to DTP, cruise on over to marksware.com forward slash products forward slash PDF to DTP. There you'll get more demonstration videos, features and benefits, a full description, demo download, and of course system requirements. PDF to DTP at this time is still in beta. Hopefully very soon, and perhaps when you see this, it'll be released and able to be purchased. PDF to DTP from Marksware, a fantastic way to open and edit PDF files within InDesign or even Quark. Thank you, David Dilling from Marksware, signing off.